Nani guys, Ultimate Collector George here. Welcome back another video. Welcome back another Chucky TV series news. Yes, guys, today I'll be breaking down and explaining Chucky the TV series episode two that premiered last night on Sci-Fi and USA Network. So without further ado, let's dive right into this. So before I start the video, I just want to say that Chucky the TV series episode 2 was truly truly amazing, I really really loved it, it just keeps on getting better and better, it was just, it was so so amazing and to be honest when I felt uh, that the episode was a bit short, like I really wanted to see more, I really wanted to see what happens next, that's how awesome it is, like because if it was bad I would like, I don't care what happens next, but no. Checking the TV series is amazing. It's very, very awesome. It keeps on getting better and better. The first episode was so, so amazing. And so uh, so as the second one. They are just so amazing. And I really cannot wait to see more episodes. Now, now let's break down the Chucky TV series episode 2. The Chucky the TV series uh, episode 2 opens with a flashback of young Charles Lee Ray that came from probably of course trick or treating and he, he picks up an apple and in the apple it looks like it has as like some sort of a blade inside and Charles Lee Ray Chucky doesn't give a shit and literally just bites into it when he just bleeds which is so so gory and just shows how that nobody did anything to Charles Lee Ray Chucky to make him who he is, you know, the Lakeshore Strangle. No, he was already that monster from the beginning. I found that very, very interesting, and that's the same thing that's going to be. That's the same thing with Tiffany that we'll be seeing a flashback of of how Chucky and Tiffany met. Uh, Tiffany also grew up the same way. She was already that monster. I really like that idea, and I, I think it's very interesting. So after that, we see in environment shots, and we see Devin Evans. Who is you know talking you know well we hear his podcast um, hacking slash I believe and he just talks about uh, how today well today is a very important important day because you know today's Halloween and all that stuff which I found very very interesting and very very cool and then we see Jake and his cousin Junior in the car. Yes, uh, now this episode 2 takes place, of course, one week after, you know, episode 1. So now, um, you know, Jake lives with his cousins because, you know, his father died and his mother passed away a long time ago. And you can definitely tell that Jake and Junior isn't getting well that much together. And after that, we get an amazing kill. We see Chucky, I'll roll the crib right now you guys, we see Chucky kill the maid, I found that very very gruesome and very very sick kill, now I want to I wanna point out something for you guys, it looks like we'll be getting one kill for each episode, which to be honest, it's fine by me since it is a TV series, not like you know, a normal movie, it's a TV series so that's why them, you know they're gonna limit the kills a bit and they're gonna have one kill for each episode and I don't mind that at all as long as the kills are, are creative that's fine by me and by the way the kills are creative so that is amazing and after that we get well we see Jake and you know confronting Chucky of what he did you know how he killed the maid and stuff and you know Chucky's just reading the book so innocent so cute I really love him but wait, we get a Glenn reference since 2004, since Curse of Chucky, Court of Chucky, well, we never got a reference in Curse of Chucky or Court of Chucky, we never heard anything about Glenn till now. We get an, a Glenn reference, this just proves that Glenn and Glenda are out there and alive and well and high chance they are in the series, which is very very amazing. I'll roll the clip. I'll get back to you guys. You know, I have a queer kid. You have a kid. Gender fluid. And you're, you're cool with it. I'm not a monster, Jake. 
as you guys saw by that it is amazing i'm very happy we got a mention of glenn i would say glenda as well in a way but hey i do want to tell you guys something because i've been seeing a lot of comments you guys are confused why chucky called glenn queer why is, did he call chucky uh, why did chucky call glenn a uh, gentle fluid since there's two souls stuck in one body that is true there are two souls stuck in one body there are twins glenn and glenda but the thing is, Chucky's basically saying is whatever Glenn himself is. Yeah, they are, there's two souls stuck in one body, Glenn and Glenda. But Chucky doesn't really care about Glenda. He's saying Glenn himself, whoever he is. If he's, if he's gay himself, if he's, you know, gender fluid himself. We're not talking about Glenda, we're talking about Glenn. He's basically saying whatever he is, Chucky doesn't really care because he accepts Glenn. For who he is but yes there are two souls stuck in one body but chucky you know accepts glenn himself for who he is if he's gay you know if he's gender fluid all that stuff chucky doesn't care really he accepts glenn he accepts his son because he's not a monster so that's i just wanted to make that out i wanted to tell you guys that a bit more clearly so you guys understand it better but yeah, it's very, very exciting. I really cannot wait to see Glenn and Glenda. Hopefully, high chance they are in the series. It's very amazing that we got a, uh, a mention of them in a very, very long time. And yeah, and I also want to say that also Seed of Chucky, Glenn and Glenda were, uh, I would say, uh, presented as trans. Since, you know, Don Mancini likes to put LGBTQ, uh, LGBTQ elements into the franchise. So that's why I see... Um, that's why I see why people would get a little bit confused. Hey, uh, when you understand it, you know, it's, it's, going to, it's going to be easy. But hey, I really cannot wait. Uh, hopefully, Glenn and Glenn show up in a serious high, high chance. But now, moving on. So after that, we see a Devin Evans' mom, who is a detective, who basically came to question, of course, uh, little... Uh, junior's parents because after the murderer because that is the second freak accident um which i thought it was cool it kind of gave me detective mike norris from Child's play one vibes i don't know why i guess because she's a detective but yeah it's very very cool and i also want to show you i want to tell you guys that don mancini is uh is in a cameo in the second episode he did say he's, he's supposed to be in a cameo i didn't really spot him if you guys spot don mancini in the in chucky tv series episode 2 leave a comment down below but yeah i'm very very happy that he's in the tv series as a cameo but now moving on so after that we see uh chucky um this in in uh jake's bedroom and it's a laptop next to chucky and when junior goes to check you know what's on the laptop he sees that uh, i believe lexi has some sort of social media and chucky's like looking her up or something which i did find very very interesting and when jake confronts chucky chucky literally punches him which which i found i found that so funny and so shocking in a good way of course but yeah i thought that was very cool and after that we see um caroline she is drawing a picture of chucky and that literally show us that she will well she's definitely going to keep chucky at some point maybe she's gonna come across chucky and he's going to become her friends till the end kind of like um well kind of like um alice from chris and court of chucky which is very cool and also a lot of people were wondering what happened to alice there are two theories on what happened to alice More theory number one is chucky possessed her went on killing spree and then somebody ended up killing her which made it look like alice had a broken heart that's theory number one theory number two is alice tried to fight back and chucky ended up killing her there are two theories to this I, I to be honest kind of um i kind of go with the second one more but yeah uh looks like this the, the same situation is gonna happen all over again which is which, which is very cool to be honest and after that we see um a, you know jake is gonna go to a halloween dance which is it's very very amazing and we see chucky trick-or-treating as hello kitty and he goes to he goes up to a lady and, and tells her where 
could he find you know Oliver's party so he could find Lexi and you know take her down and but before he goes he gives her a trick he gives her an apple that has a blade in it which of course that's the same thing that happened with him when he was young which I found very very interesting as well and then later on we see Caroline and Chucky playing a video game and chill everyone it is not Fortnite they're playing some random you know slashing game uh, but yeah I really found that very very amazing I, re I really like that scene and of course later on we see you know um, we see um, you know Lexi and Junior doing something and Chuck is literally under the bed trying to stab through the mattress which is I found very very awesome very interesting and I also want to point out you guys that I have been doing some videos on these TV series spots some of them actually got taken down because of copyright claim but that's why I'm mentioning them right here so you know if you didn't get to see them well you I, I'm literally just mentioning them right now in this video so uh, so yeah I just I'm very sad that YouTube has been taking some you know they took down some two videos of these TV series spots but I'm not really I'm not really too too mad about it since you know the tv series episode 2 is out there and everyone saw the clips and all that stuff and i'm you know showing it to you guys right now so i'm not really too mad about that but yeah um that's that was a, a very cool scene a scene and yeah it was very interesting and after that we see lexi dressing up as jake's dad and which i really found messed up like that is literally very it's very very bad that's very wrong so i really want chucky killing lexi i don't know why but yeah because like after what she did of course i want chucky to take her down next but we'll see and after that we see you know that lady with she has bleeding mouth because you know she ate the apple and had the blade inside and yeah it's very amazing and we can see that you know um devon evans mom um she's you know getting suspicious of jake even more and more which also makes me wonder what might happen next in the next episode and last but not least we see at the end chucky and jake chucky is confronting jake and telling him to join his side and you know he gave him a life for you know because he wants jake to start killing people and maybe take down lexi i find that very interesting and amazing way to end episode two I really cannot wait to, to see what happens next. I'm overall very excited. But you guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. That's, that was my breakdown and Easter eggs and all that amazing stuff. Really hope you enjoyed this video. And yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget, guys, to keep on collecting. Bye. Subscribe, damn it. I'll be back. I always come back and so should you, you moron.